Let's make a sketch in Autodesk Fusion 360. I'm going to start by making a typical sketch. Normally we start and put the sketch on a plane, vertical or ground. I'll go ahead and do that. Start the sketch. And if I rotate up into 3D by clicking the little house, I notice that I'm essentially stuck on that plane. I can draw in any direction on that plane, but I cannot go off that plane. Let's say I want to draw up. Um, I can't do that. I'm stuck on that plane. So let's do a 3D sketch first. Uh, we have to make sure that 3D sketching is enabled. We click on our name and click on preferences. If we go to design, we can make sure allow 3D sketching of lines and splines is checked. That's important. We'll also want to have a 3D sketch checked. Now the toughest part is getting these started. I'm going to just uh, create a line here. Now I have selected the ground plane. That's important. Um, to do a 3D sketch, you need to start a sketch that's not on the plane that, you, uh, that you've got selected. So I'm going to sketch a line here. I'm just going to give this dimension, I'll say 50 millimeters. Hit enter. There's a line. Now I'll add an additional line here. Another line. And I'll make this one also 50 millimeters for now. And to let Fusion know I want to do a 3D sketch, I have to start making a 3D sketch. And one way to do that, I'm going to uh, delete this dimension so it's no longer constrained, this point here. Right click, and I'm going to say Move. And I'm going to pick that point. And notice I can drag it right off of that plane. So now it's no longer uh, 2D. I'm actually uh, off that plane. I'm dragging that down or up in the z-axis. Go back to my home view. And I'm going to actually drag this up uh, 50 millimeters. And then I'm going to drag this. I'll bring my move copy into view here better. I went up in the Z direction 50, and then I'll pull this back uh, minus 50. Okay, and that creates a vertical line. And that's now a 3D sketch, essentially. You can see that line is up off of the sketch plane. So this is a the little bit tricky part. If I start the next line, sketch, line, and I'm going to start off the top of this, you notice that little gizmo appear, and it can be a little bit tricky to appear. Sometimes I found if I hold my cursor really close, it doesn't always show up, but if I move my mouse away, now I can sketch in X, Y uh, plane, you know, perpendicular to where I've drawn. And I can also dimension, so I can type in, you know, 50 millimeters, enter, locks that in, and I can do an additional line. I hit L on my keyboard to get the line. Now I can come this direction, 50, and so on. And you can see it's now a fully uh, 3D sketch line. Hit L on my keyboard. And again, I can go uh, different directions. I can go this direction, 50 millimeters, enter. And you can see it's dimensioning that as I go. And I still have some other sketch capabilities here. For example, I can do a fillet. And I can do that in any of these. So I can create another fillet sketch fill it and between any two lines it understands the direction you're going sketch fill it these two and enter and one more sketch fill it enter and so you can see it's a now a fully 3d sketch I can hit stop sketch and I can come back and add a command to it such as create uh, pipe. And I'm going to select this path, select, and I've got this pipe following that 3D path. And I can adjust its diameter and I can change its uh, profile to make it hollow so it's a tube. And I can do the thickness of that tube and so on. And there it is, using that 3D sketch. If I come back and right click and I edit that sketch, I can now make adjustments. I will, for instance, double click this dimension. I can type in sound 100 millimeters. And if I say stop sketch, it will adjust the pipe that's based off of that sketch. Another way to start the 3D sketch mode 
is to create a reference geometry. I'm going to go ahead and create a box. I'm going to put it on the ground plane. I'll start at the origin. This can be any shape really. I'm going to start uh, do 50 millimeters, tab over, 50. When I click tab, it locks the dimension. You notice the little yellow locks appear. I hit enter to set that. Uh, here I have my box properties. If it's off to the side, you, know, you can maximize that, bring it out. I can select the height. I'll do 50 millimeters as well and say OK. Now I'll create a sketch. I'll do a line and I'll select the ground plane again. I'll click my house to look at this in 3D. Now if I start the sketch, I can click on the origin and notice that by default, again, I'm only stuck to that ground plane that I selected. But now that I have some reference geometry, I can snap to it. You notice all these points will appear midpoints and corners, even lines, and that will put that off of its working plane and up onto the sketch or up onto this reference geometry. I'm going to go vertical. You can see it gives me a little square there. And now I've gone vertical. Bam. This is what I'm looking for. That little, I call it a gizmo, but it's this dynamic input, the uh, uh, red and green and blue. It lets me know I'm in 3D sketch and lets me change direction of that 3D sketch. I can come out and to add a dimension I can type in the distance. I'll do 50 uh, millimeters here. And now if I add another line I can go off of this point. And if I don't get that jump, that uh, gizmo right away, you can notice I went down. I didn't see that little gizmo. Um, it's a UCS, a technical terms. I can hover over the previous line I just drew and that kind of brings it up uh, into play. And now I get these little dashed lines. Let me go in the various directions off of that sketch. Um, if it's hard to see, you can also rotate or orbit and start to get those uh, dimensions or directions where you'd like them to be. So I'm going to do another sketch over here. I'll do 50, enter. Actually, let's do it different. Uh, if you just dragged it out and clicked, uh, I've got no dimension there now. I hit escape to stop that. So you can see it's important that I add those while I'm sketching. So really the way to fix that is to delete this, uh, then create the line, get the dynamic input, and type in a dimension. Even if I don't know what it is, I can just put something for now, 28. And once I have that dimension set, I can double click it at any time and make an adjustment. And that's how I can start to create that 3D sketch. This 3D sketch mode does take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, going down and back up in the Z to axis can be a little bit tricky. If I start here with my uh, reference body, click down, click up at the top, then I get this little UCS. It lets me come over, type in a dimension. And then coming down, if I want to come back, if I, uh, if I orbit around, you'll notice that it's essentially uh, taking a point back to that ground plane because even though we're in a 3D sketch mode we still have selected that ground plane and that's where it's trying to go back to. Um, but I can hover over a reference point and you can see it gives me this blue lines to align things up and then right uh, there it's going to snap in at a 90 um, and I can type in the dimension or I can click and it's going to put that in there. Now again if I just clicked you know I won't have that dimension so I might want to go back and, and hit undo and do that line again. Uh, but again, going off that reference point, back down, and then maybe type in that dimension so I have it if I want to uh, constrain it or change that dimension later. And so now I also have a sketch not only branching out in uh, kind of X, Y plane, but also down in Z. Uh, I can do that as well. And if I wanted to go up, again, I might make a reference model off to the side that would help me uh, do that. or um, I can sketch a point, and I can put you know a point in here. Go back to my home view. Let's add a line first. So I'll add another line coming off this direction. I'll do 25 millimeters for that one, and I'll sketch and I'll create a point. I'll put it right there. And I can select it. I want to delete this coincident constraint. I select it, hit delete, so I can move it freely. 
uh, grab that point. I can click it. You can see it highlights when it turns blue. I can right click and say move. And if I know I want to go up, I can move this up. For, for instance, I'll say 100, 100, and say OK. And now I can sketch and create a line uh, from this point uh, up to that point. And then from there, you can see I get my little UCS, and I can come off uh, back in this direction, for instance, uh, 50. Lock that in. And now as I rotate around, I can see it truly is a 3D sketch. It's uh, dimensioned so far as I've dimensioned it. And uh, there it is. I can then come back and add things like a fillet, like sketch, uh, fillet. And then the last step, I go back and add my pipe commands or whatever I want to use to, for the sketch. A pipe, uh, a pattern along a path, or a sweep are all good uses for these 3D sketches. Thank you.